Hi friends, Yari here with Third Eye Yari, and we're going to start today with Akashic Tarot. I hope everybody's doing well today. Please don't forget to check out my website, uh, thirdeyeyari.com, uh, and to check out Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And subscribe yes <laughs> all right let's see what we got today yes why not subscribe to all of my social media that helps me grow absolutely let's see two worlds two of scrolls two worlds um i'm receiving different messages let me show you that different messages about that uh because we certainly all live kind of in two worlds you know we have the spiritual world and we have you know the human world scrolls Three, two scrolls, two worlds. When you receive this card, there is a conflict in your life between what the outer world requires of you and how your own spirit directs you. You actually may have had a number of past lives where you wanted to focus on your spiritual growth and therefore join a monastery to do so, then missing wonders that the secular world could offer, such as love, family, and financial success. You choose the secular world exclusively in your, in your next incarnation. Yet this didn't offer the spiritual focus you also sought. Because of this, it's likely that you're that you bounce back and forth from the monastic to the personal in a number of incarnations and through a number of different faiths. That is so interesting. You are now again experiencing a polarity between a fully self-realized spiritual experience and a personal success in your day-to-day -day life. It, it often feels as if you have to let one go in order to embrace the other. The, this push-pull will continue until you learn to bring your spiritual self to every situation in your personal life. It is time to replace the worry with truth and integrate your eternal truth with your temporal re reality. If you have a job or are in a relationship that actively pulls you from your spirit, from your spirit you must deal with it or possibly leave it. Who you are forever is who you are now. Let nothing impede that power. When you own it, absolute self-realization in both worlds will elude you no longer. That is very interesting. So yes, it was talking about the two worlds, the the you know, the, the tangible and the spiritual world. And it's talking about push and pull. So we, we, we must bring it together in every day, in our everyday lives. And that doesn't mean preaching. That doesn't mean trying to convert people to what we think. Um, because people have free will. People are allowed to choose whatever they want to choose. What he's talking about is not letting any part of our lives pull us away from what we have chosen. That is a very powerful message. And this is, uh, so the two is about the different roads, the different choices. And this is monology.
and it says your dreams need a practical plan. Oh, full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. So what are you dreaming about? What are you dreaming about? Put it down on paper, first of all. And that is incredibly powerful because now something that was just in your head, it's tangible. You can touch it. It's on paper first. Then you can break it down. What can I do to get there? Break it down, half steps, and do, you know, complete little steps until you're there. This is Beyond Memoria. And anything is achievable. Anything. Anything that doesn't require to break the laws of our human nature. So you cannot look 20 if you're 80. No, you cannot. Definitely not. But you can feel like that. <laughs> Especially in your spirit, right? So no, it cannot break the laws of our human nature. But anything is really possible beyond the mind and it's in, interesting we have another two here so that's what we were talking about about the dreams whatever is beyond the mind bring it in reel it in make it tangible make it possible make it make it into live different steps that are achievable and this is the card number 20 which is a two very enhanced we, that that's that's what the zero does enhance the number it's beside of and this is um <clears throat> angel answers Compromise, compromise. So no, you cannot look 20 if you're 80, but compromise. You can go back to those dreams of when you were 20 uh, and make something out of that because that's just energy. That's just energy. And we, energy never dies. It can only change, right? So we can compromise and well, we probably cannot become a gymnast. Even at 20, we can start then and become a world-renowned Olympic gymnast. But, you know, we can do some things about that. And this is Chakra Inside. And I'm sure most of you don't want to become a world Olympic gymnast. I'm just... Put in an extreme um, example because at any age, if 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 that's your if that's what you're dreaming about, you can be more flexible. You can have better movement of your body. Just need to break it out in little steps, okay? but it cannot break the, the, the laws of our human existence. So we cannot decide one day that we're going to fly. No. Inspiration. Ideas spark conception impulse. So we're going to be inspired by all of this. We're going to be inspired. And it's number 46. Number 46, it's all about balance and all about love and all about endings and new beginnings. Okay? So we're going to be inspired by this change. And don't forget, um, I, I, I put out um, 
the the new moon and solar eclipse it has such a positive energy that eclipse such a powerful energy for new beginnings for important changes in our lives important really important changes in our lives um and i am happy to report that i have started to color again yes i have that's not one of the new ones. This is one of the new ones. Yes. This is one of the new ones. And I put pink purplish hair because I have pink purplish hair. Yes, I have started to color. So I'm very excited about that. I'm going to try to finally finish all these beautiful cards. Melanie inspired me because she started to color them <laughs> doing uh, one of those real shorts depending on where you post it it changes in um, name but it's the same thing so I'm like oh, yes I need to do that all right let's see Claim your power. Claim your power. Cultivate willpower. Take inspired action. You got this. And it's interesting because we just got inspiration. And then this one says take inspired action. So yes, take inspired action. It goes really, really, really well together. So choose. What dreams have you left behind? Oh, because I'm too old. Oh, because it's no longer possible. Da 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 da. Put it down. Put it down on paper. It's not gonna. It doesn't cost you anything. Put it down on paper and say, "What could I do if that was absolutely possible? What could I do?" Break it down in little steps. See what happens. Magic is going to happen. Just magic. All right, and this is uh, the Mystic Tarot. So this reading is all about choosing. Choosing what's right for us. Because the Two of Scrolls was talking to us about the duality of being humans and being a spiritual person. But then we're talking about our dreams over here, okay? So let's see what Tara has to say. What details it's going to give us. Tres, cuatro, cinco. All right. So we definitely have some, we have all in reverse, but the very last one, which is great. It's an ace. It's a new beginning. So we, we definitely have some, um, obstacles, obstacles that we have been working on because it's in the reverse. The five of wands. The five of wands, it's all about passion, all about desire. And it doesn't necessarily have to be sexual. This, you know, I am very, you know, I have, have an incredible passion for this, what I'm doing right here with you. Uh, and it's nothing sexual. It's, but it's very passionate. It's a, it's, it's a very passionate part of me. So it can be anything it can be one of those dreams that we have left behind that we say no i don't think that's i don't think i'm caught for that I, I don't think i can do that anymore so i think this is telling us that we're kind of bringing down the walls bringing down the walls 
And then we have the Page of Swords, which is incredible because it's also in the reverse. <clears throat> oh, look at that. Okay, I'm looking at the rest of the cards and it's coming together. This, <clears throat> this Page of Swords, it's, it's a messenger, okay? And it's somebody that may, that may tell us that, no, we were right. We're not going to be able to do this. So <clears throat> the, the, the message here is don't listen. Be inspired. Be your own guide. If you want to do something, why don't try? Don't let people tell you that you can do stuff. No. Try. Even, and I just heard this me message coming through. Uh, somebody out there, a doctor has said, this is, the, this is going to be the outcome and there's nothing you can do about it. And you think, there's something that you can do about that. Try. Try. Because um, there's an incredible amount of stories out there saying that just because people were absolutely sure that they could do that, 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 they did. Even against what doctors told them that, you know, that was, that was it. You're never going to walk again. You're never going to talk again. You're never going to eat again. You're never going to do this again. You're never going to. And, and they were like, no, uh, -uh I will. And they did. Okay. So somebody, somebody's trying to bring you down with some kind of message and you're going to be repelling that. Then we have the two of cups. In reverse, and it's interesting, we have another two. We've been getting a lot of twos. We have the two here, we have the two here, and now we have the two here. Um, but look how interesting that picture is. So he's kind of coming to save her. She's, she's in that rock tied up in the middle of the ocean. But if you turn around, they both fall to the sky. So it's part of some kind of ascension process. You're liberating yourself. You're freeing yourself. from some kind of situation. Yes, you're freeing yourself from some kind of situation. And then we have another five, which is change and it's um, transformation. Um, you know, fives are also conflict. But if you turn it around, those swords are going to fall off his hand. So you are really here overcoming obstacles, overcoming people that are telling you negative messages, negative and limiting messages. You're overcoming the feeling of being stuck, of being tied up. You're overcoming fears or of getting hurt. You are overcoming all of that. You're overcoming the feeling that we need to give up our passion. And, you know, as one of the outcome cards, the Ace of Cups is telling us that we're going to have a beautiful new beginning. A beautiful new beginning with all that water, which is all that emotion, all that love. 
okay? And we're gonna be seen. We are going to be seen. We are gonna feel vulnerable, but we're going to be seen. People are gonna be able to see the truth of us, are going to be able to see what we love, what we want, what we do in complete absolute reality, okay? Let's see what else. And this is the Wandering Star Tarot. <clears throat> Let's see what else. And you know what? All this may be limiting beliefs in your own head. Those messages could, could come from your own head. No, I'm too old. No, the time has passed. No, that relationship will never be. And it may not be. It may not be the case. Because the universe is promising us a beautiful new beginning. Let's see a little bit further. Uno, dos, tres. Cinco. So definitely the first card is the Ten of Swords. That's incredible ending. That's, that's, that's transformation. I mean, you have a skull. There's, there's a situation that is going to finish. And we need a situation to end for a new one to come in, to begin. Okay? So we're going to be closing something. If, if there's a situation that makes you feel disempowered, which is what we have over here, we're going to be finishing that. That's going to be ending. So we need to allow, this is the night of wands in reverse. We are going to need to allow our own intuition to come through instead of limiting beliefs and limiting messages and unempowering messages to ourselves from others or from ourselves. We're going to have to let our intuition flow in. And then we have another ace. And another ace, which is another new beginning, but this is gonna, this is, this is telling us it's bringing, it's bringing abundance, and it's not necessarily only financial abundance, which this is talking about since it's the the coins, the pentacles. But I always like to think that financial abundance needs to come with abundance from everywhere. Abundance in health, abundance in love, abundance in happiness, abundance in love, abundance in friendships, you know? So this this is this is another beautiful new beginning that the universe is telling us that we're going to have. And I think it has to be with, you know, part of this new beginning that we were talking about. And there are going to be some hardship. There's going to be some things that we need to be opening our eyes to because the five of pentacles it's things on un, unseen is opportunities missed that's what it is is when you are so focused on what's wrong that you fail to see opportunities that are right there in front of you for you to grab on and to have that growth okay those are missed opportunities <clears throat> and then we have the magician at the end. And the magician is the great manifester, the great manifester. And it's in the reverse. So it's going to be delayed because you have so many limiting beliefs that you're not going to believe yourself that you have the power for this beautiful new beginning. And you do. You definitely do. This is for you. This is the promise of the universe that you can have. You can manifest everything. And we, we've been talking from the very beginning about beyond the mind, about inspiring actions, about your dreams, 
about claiming your power. That's how we started. So this is the promise of the universe that we can achieve. We just really need to believe. And then you can say, yes, Yari, I believe. And then go turn around and say like, well, not really. Don't do that. Truly believe it. And you know, it's easy. You don't have to believe it only in your head if you don't want to. If you feel that that's kind of hard to do, put it down on paper. Put it down on paper and, and break it up in little small steps and take action. Every day, take a little baby step. Take half a little baby steps, but do it consistently. Don't forget it. Put it on your fridge. Put it in your bedside table among the 10,000 other little unuseful things that you have there. Put it right there where you can see it and take action every day. Inspired action. Okay? All right. So this reading is for all of us. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna be myself thinking about some dreams that I have left behind and do that myself. Okay? So this is for all of us, but if you hear your sign, this is especially important for you. And we have Capricorn, we have Taurus, and we already saw Taurus right there, the new moon in Taurus. And we have Sagittarius, which is very interesting because we are starting Sagittarius uh, uh, time astrologically in the calendar, and you know the 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 new moon is in the is in the sign of Sagittarius. So there you go, that makes sense. All right, so so this is your time to shine this is your time to shine and for all of us for Sagittarius because it's their sign and it's the new uh, solar year but for all of us all this energy of this uh, solar eclipse is affecting all of us and it's gonna um, last for six months so we have time break it down in six months break it down you can break it down in whatever amount of time you want but we're going to have this incredible, powerful energy to do stuff for the next six months, okay? Okay, and the letters, you can see your own initials, somebody else's initials, or if some of the um, letters remind you of a word, that's an extra message for you. And we start with O, and then we got V, S G K F T L J and U, and we have exactly 10, and we have only two vowels, so we're going to have to use your imagination with those letters, okay? We have a lot of consonants there. All right, so we're going to get maybe three. I'm gonna get three of each, okay? Yep, we got four. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> and the first thing we got is peace. Be at peace. Be at peace with this process. You don't need to. You, you, you know, it, it's it's okay. You you can. Don't be bent out of shape about this. If there's something that you really want to do, just try. Just try. The you know, spirit may surprise you with it. Just just try. Why not? Just try. 
you don't lose anything and you might get what you want. And this is telling me that it's easier than you think. It's gonna, it's gonna fit your foot and it's gonna be way easier than you think. Then we got the star and the star is all about wish fulfillment. And we've been talking about our dreams. We're going to have some wish, wish fulfillment. And this is also about healing. Stars are about wish fulfillment and about healing. You know, the 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 flamingo i was thinking pelican no that's not a pelican a flamingo the flamingo is all about balance because flamingos can stand in one foot for hours right but it's also the the, the message i heard when i was picking it up was um there's something that says like the beauty is in the eye of the beholder right and this is definitely a beautiful, a beautiful bird. And you are going to be just as balanced as beautiful and beautiful. In the eye of spirit, in the eye of God, you are absolutely perfect and balanced and beautiful. So love yourself. Love yourself. Half. Half. As much as spirit loves you and you're gonna love yourself so much if you do that and give yourself a chance giraffe the giraffe is about self-acceptance and love but it's also about the that duality of those two worlds it's about being grounded being grounded but being high up there, close to spirit. And because we're not children, we're older, we are wiser because we have learned some things about life and we have learned some things about spirit. And you know how we were talking about messages, negative messages? Give yourself positive messages. Look at yourself in the mirror every day and tell yourself how smart, how beautiful, how valuable you are. Because you are. That kind of practice changes your life because we are so bombarded every day with such negative um, messages uh, from everywhere because we're never enough never you're not tall enough you're not short enough you're not skinny enough you're not big enough you're not rich enough you're not uh, spiritual enough you're not we're never enough no 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 you are absolutely enough you are absolutely enough and that's one great message i am enough tell yourself positive messages Every day when you're driving, have a little, you know, those post-it um, notes, have it in your car with five, six affirmations every day. And you tell them to yourself when you're driving, you tell them to yourself when you go potty, what there is to do. Tell yourself your affirmations. Tell yourself as soon as you wake up and you're looking in the mirror, tell yourself your affirmations and tell them to yourself right before you go to bed because your brain is going to be more open and it's going to be taking in all that beautiful messages for you to uh, ponder about in your sleep. <laughs> beautiful. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I truly, really appreciate it. Don't forget, like, subscribe, um, hit the notification bell and leave me a message. I love those messages. Leave me a message. Okay. Thank you so much. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.